Charlie Lee has become the most famous butcher in the world. No wonder there was a crowd to welcome him home to his shop. He's won over a quarter of a million on the pools, and now here he was in a taxi coming back in time to serve the weekend joint to his friends and customers. It was too much for Mrs. Lee, she nearly fainted. Extra meat was ordered, and was it going to be needed? We'll say it was. Charlie had made it known that he was going to give meat to old age pensioners and to all his regular customers. Maybe he'd never realized before how many regular customers he's got. Come on, Ma, never mind having your picture took. Here, yeah, would you like me to take it home for you? They could not only have the meat free, they could even be a butcher for a day and cut their own. A chance for Charlie to wet his epiglottis. Mrs. Lee was quite recovered, and the free business went on fast and furious. Nobody forgotten. Who said dog doesn't eat dog? Have a necklace, Ma. Good luck to big-hearted Charlie Lee. May his firm flourish.